Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Stoll, Total Thirteen King, and welcome to the new series on my channel. This is, of course, the KSP Showcase series, and it is on this series that I will be, uh, well, showcasing the awesome craft that you submit to my channel. Now, I will include instructions on how to share the craft to me uh, in the description, but I think it's time that we crack on and show you the first submission. Now, this is called Missile Station. <laughs> Uh, it's a rather unusual one, but I, I can see this being a bit fun. Uh, I may as well show it now. This was submitted by Afro PC Gamer. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty awesome. You can see I like the uh, yeah. We're just gonna completely ignore the missile bit right now. Uh, I do like the way he's made the lifting stage. That's pretty clever and creative of him to make it kind of enshroud the whole thing on the way up. And I do like these six boosters. I'm really hoping it works because I haven't flown it yet. Uh, <laughs> oops, uh, but yeah. Uh, moving on to these features here. I call them features. It's a bit of a word for them, I suppose. Now, for missiles, that is pretty deadly. And I was thinking to myself, how am I possibly gonna make a showcase video on this? And then I realized, oh wait, I have a space station and we can get some stuff up there to blow up, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna <clears throat> test this thing, I guess. We're gonna milit blah, blah, milit militize, militarize. Oh, someone correct me, please. If I'm not right, which I, I won't be. Um, and if if okay, I will be leaving a in the description a link for this craft if you want to play with it yourself. But yeah, Afro PC Gamers Craft. He submitted this one for submission. Uh, so I decided to show it first. Let's have a look at the action groups because I think some of you might be interested in that. One and two, nothing. Three, nothing. Four toggles the giant solar panels on the side here. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight does these. Uh, okay, so eight fires these two missiles, I think. Yeah, and ten. Oh, I see. So uh, that does them. That does them. Okay, and then ten. Of course we have lights. Who couldn't have lights on a missile death base? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, please join voice over me as we go to dock with my space station. Let's go! Okay, thanks, real me. Uh, we are joining the craft just off the launch pad, and you can see that it is taking off at a, quite a good clip, but not fast enough, so we're going to speed it up to two times. You know, with the magic of video editing, hmm. Uh, but, yes... The only major problem I did see with this craft, yeah, we're gonna dive right into this criticism thing, is that it has no SAS modules. Uh, I don't know how that got missed, but I, I mean, it's not so much a big problem, it's just rather a large inconvenience. But you can see some of the problems that arise when I'm making my gravity turn is that I'm really fighting to keep my heading and my attitude, so I'm having to bring out the RCS and everything just to keep myself from firing into the ground. Um, but hey, in the end, it all goes. It, got, it all goes well. And other than that, it really does what it says in the tin. You can see here the solid panels opening, very majestic looking. It's very. It's, a, it's got a good. It's got a uh, quite a classy look to it, for a, a weapon of such mass destruction. And you can see here just closing on on the space station, and we are going to separate from our transfer stage because hey, it's useless, and I don't really need that docking port to. Well, you know, dock. Um, you can see we're getting close. The only other problem was that this thing was quite um, quite wide and a little bit unwieldy when docking, especially without those SES modules. But in the end, it did dock and everything worked. And we get to do some fun tests. So, yeah, over to Realme. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed those last few clips where I highlighted some of the problems with this craft when it was getting up to the station and docking with it. But that's fine, it's still a really fun craft. A couple of tweaks and it'll be really enjoyable to actually fly, but no more on that. Let's explain the situation. So, say you, you are attached to a respectable station. This is my CRKSS Kermit Rise station and I've attached it to one of the um, auxiliary ports here, just one of my, uh, what node is this, my ugh, zenith node, I think. Yes, my zenith node, or my nadir node. I don't know, guys, it's one of them. 
Um, yes, uh, but pff, look at this thing. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks like a like a falcon or a th it's looking like Thunderbird Five or something, which is a ring. So that doesn't make any sense. But pff, Thunderbird Five, sure, we'll we'll go with that. Um, yeah. So this is my station, and that is a worthy addition. Look at it. It looks so good. Uh, <laughs> please submit some more things to put on my station. Let's see how good we can get this thing to look. But uh, yes. So. You may have seen this piece of debris over here. That's just the spent uh, transfer stage. And I think you can already tell what we're gonna do. But for those of you who haven't already, we're gonna fire missiles at it, yay, and see if we can blow it up in four tries. Um, yeah, so let's see, let's see how this goes. I did also notice that these guys fire two at a time, but I'm just gonna have to leave one kind of floating, so we may lose two missiles in the process because of my ineptitude, but uh, if we don't, even better, let's see if we can get this thing. So let's press. Uh, also, let's unfurl these panels while we're here, just just to add to the awesomeosity. Sorry for the low frame rate, I'm currently running at 16 FPS, and it's simply because this thing is absolutely huge humongous. Not just humongous, huge humongous. Huge manatees, uh, and <laughs> it's killing my killing my computer, so, sorry, computer. Right, so, with eight, I believe, eight does it, so, yeah, let's quick save, like, yeah, just, just in case, and eight, oh my damn, that didn't work, well, it did, I didn't know you were gonna fire, Jesus Christ, you maniacs, whoa, okay, um, this is the coolest looking thing. Oh my god, look at it. Uh -huh. Let's try and let's try and steer away. No, no, there's no there's no convincing this thing to steer. Oh my god, look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so cool. Oh, and they've spent the stage. Okay, we're gonna have to reconsider. Uh oh crap. Uh, let's find the station again. Oh my god, we're in inter- Oh, Jesus. That went quick. We're going 4,500 meters per second. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. So, I wonder why the engine spent. It says we still- Oh, I see. That was supposed to do that, wasn't it? Right. Let's, let's see what we can do on the next, these next ones, because I had no idea that was going to happen. Let's go to Space Center really quickly. I'll, I'll leave you guys in right now, because I don't want to make another cut. Because, hey, apathy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go back to Curb and Rise. Let's really hope this thing... I'm just really hoping this thing doesn't blow up. It's probably going to be, like, gyrating a bit, but... A little trick, and we'll soak that out. Oh, God. No, no, we're okay. These guys had a bit of crap your pants moment, but hey. Randall, you're okay? Thomdrin? Thomblonk? What about you, Shirley? Shirley Temple over here. Jeez. He's one for crapping himself. He's, he craps himself in the drop of a hat, really. Okay. Takes a sip of water. And we are going to see what we can do with these other missiles. See if there's any convincing them to steer, because there wasn't just then. Uh, so, maybe... Decoupling you. Okay. Select you. Let's see if we can turn you. Anything? Come on, bud. I know you can do it. Oh, God. Another problem this is uh, that we're having here is just this no. Uh, we really need some SAS in this. Um. Hmm, how are we gonna hit something? I don't really know how to hit something. Maybe we can just see how far we can get this thing going, maybe? What's our station debris? Oh, we've blown a bit of it off. That's not good. Okay, let's just fire it again, I guess. This is fun. This is way too fun. Ready, set, fire! Ah! Oh my god, I'm so sorry, station. Okay, so you see the nose things go- oh my god. Uh, so yeah, was not expecting, well, I, I, I kind of was expecting this, but Jesus, look at it. Oh, my God, we've gone away from the station, my frame rate's back up to 60. <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah, I hope this will do, but 
look at this footage. Oh, and then we'll launch the last one to see if we can't. Uh, look at that. That is impressive. I'm seeing some people already trying to utilize this idea. Maybe you could probably get really, really good and small interplanetary probes, uh, deep space probes, just using this. I think I might use this on my career mode save. This is amazing, though. Look at that. Look at that little shot. It looks... It's nice. It's nice. Yep. So, yeah, a few criticisms on this design, uh, such as the SAS, what what gives, man, and the um, lack of steering on these missiles. But other than that, I'd say this is a really unique and creative design. Okay, so for a last test, I want to see what actually happens to the Kerbin Rise space station when we launched this thing, because I noticed it was shaking a bit when we did, but I just want to see to what extent this thing just, uh, just like, gyrates and see if it would actually tear itself apart had we not gone out of the 25 kilometer range. So, oh god, let's hope this doesn't blow up, and let's take another quick save. No, let's not, because I already have one. Uh, okay, so in three, two, one, oh my goodness me, that is, oh wow. Let's just see, oh my god, it's like a noodle. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh uh, god, I'm feeling a little bit, let's see what it looks like inside the station. Uh, okay, wow. <laughs> These guys are loving it. <laughs> Who do we have here? We have, uh, everyone's happy. That's strange. That's not the time to be happy, guys. This is the time to be pooping your pants, not laughing. Wow. These guys... Who trained these guys? I mean... Oh, I did. Right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Who trained these guys? No, not me in any way. This isn't my space program. This isn't my tumbling space station. At oh, God. There's a missile. Kerbin Rise Probe, that's a really innocent name for what we've just launched. Look at this thing. Yeah, so I guess if you want to do some experiments with this, then just feel free to download it from the link that I will provide eventually. Uh, and <laughs> please tell me what happens. Thank you to Afro PC Gamer for submitting this craft. And yeah, I look forward to your other submissions, making them good, please, and please remember to uh, include a description so that I know exactly, or not exactly, but at least vaguely what they are. Um, but yes, have fun in space, guys. Bye!